Okay, today's lesson we're going to have a quick look at drawing uh, tangents to an ellipse. So, the last lesson we looked at how to draw an ellipse. So, when you're doing tangents to an ellipse, the first thing you need to get is the focal points. So, half the major swung from the end of the minor gives us the focal points. And I'm going to clearly mark these now because these are very important. F and F1. So, what I want to look at here is drawing a tangent to a point that's on the ellipse itself. So, I'm going to pick a random point P here. And what you need to do is draw. Now, you would be doing this light ideally, but I, I'm going to do this heavy and in color to make it clear. We're going to draw a big X uh, from the point where we want the tangent. And then, using the compass, I'm going to bisect this angle here. So, open the compass. Swing the same distance out both lines. Then I would open the compass a bit bigger and an arc from each of those. And that there is going to give us a tangent. So I'll just put the tangent in a different color. So that's the tangent. Just adjust that camera there a tiny bit. So that's the tangent. And while I'm at it, I'm going to just show you if you bisect the other angle of the X, which is this one. So I'll just set my compass, I'll use that distance again. So if I bisected that one, now this gives me another, a different special line called a normal. That's a called a normal. And the normal and the tangent make an angle of 90 degrees, as you can see here, to each other. They're perpendicular. So that is drawing a tangent to an ellipse. And it is good practice when you're doing it there to just use the ellipse and do another one. So I'll just do a second tangent down below. So again, the same thing. Join to the focals. Get your compass. Bisect. This angle. This here is our tangent. So T for tangent. Okay, so um, the second one that I'm going to look at, and I'll just adjust the camera over here a little bit. So the second one I want to look at is a little bit more difficult. It is drawing a tangent from a point P that's outside the curve. Now, uh, look, if you were guessing it, obviously, like if I sketch it over here, if I was guessing this, and here's P outside, I've got two options. I could have a tangent coming down here, or I could have a tangent 
going there. So there is two correct answers to this. Both of them are tangents, which are just tipping the ellipse. Um, so there's two possible answers. The one coming down here and the one going across there. Now, the steps for this, same as the last time, you want to find the focal points. Half the major, swung from the end of the minor, gives us the focal points. So just mark F and F1. Now, the steps for this thing is from P, you want to draw an arc through the near focal point. A good big arc. So that's going through the near focal point. Then you want to set your compass to the major axis. And swing that arc from the far focal point. And where those two arcs intersect, I'm going to call that M and N. Okay, and when you join these back now to the far focal point, they will give us the tangency points. So when you join that back to the far away focal point. So here is one tangent and I'll draw them in green. So here is one tangent. Just call that tangent, tangent one, and down here, it's tangent two. Okay, so that is tangents to an ellipse from on the ellipse and from outside the ellipse. And I would recommend that people practice doing them several times, like do three or four ellipses and practice them because it takes a bit of practice and repetition to get quick at them.